Hello my YouTube audience. This is Morn Madness 23 and I am back to playing Spore. Now, unfortunately, my computer was encountering some problems with YouTube and I couldn't upload for a nice amount of time, but I finally figured out how to get it working again and that is why you managed to see part 7 of this spore yesterday I think or a couple days well I don't know when this is going up so I am back and I didn't really get a response to my question on if you wanted the horrible footage up but uh, ultimately I decided not to because I looked through it and it was really, really bad. I couldn't salvage it. So yeah, I lost all footage of the tribal stage twice. How good am I? Anyway, this is the city stage. Now, as I've explained before, the way to get money is by spice. And what I like to do right away... Tutorials, tutorials. You'll pretty much start off on this central continent, I guess you could say. Now, eventually, other cities are going to form, as you see here. And you're pretty much going for world domination. Except, what you need to do is pretty much claim. I'm going to be saying pretty much a lot, aren't I? Oh, well. You have to claim Spice Geysers before the other... What's it called? Before the other... The other city's form. Thank you. Anyway. They will form pretty soon after you start the stage, but there are going to be continents that you can't get to, and there are geysers in the sea. See, look. First uh, city has been formed. It's going to be the orange city. Uh, uh. And again, I like to ally people. Um, and I'm not a sea city either, so that is unfortunate. And I'm not going to be conquering them first. I'm going to have to wait until another city has been formed. Because this is unfortunate. And I'll tell you why. I like to go the economic route on this one. Because it yields more money in the space stage. Which is pretty much essential. And I know I show time lapses of me building buildings pretty much. I won't be doing that this time because I'm not the most creative person. So I'm just going to take some of these. Yeah, I'm just going to take some of these that's pre that's pre-made. Uh, because I can't design buildings for anything. What the? I'm gonna make that because it sounds cool. Uh, another thing. I know I I've been asking for views, likes, comments, subscribers, all that stuff, and it kind of makes it look like that's all I want. But as I've said before, this is purely to. Well, this whole channel is purely to bide my spare time, but...
but if you like a video, comment, tell me what you think, or even subscribe, heck, if you even just watch the video, that shows active support, and it really shows me that this channel is actually getting somewhere. Hey, maybe even by the time this is uploaded, I might have passed 50 video views, and that might not be a lot, but it's still a pretty darn good milestone. And, and as I've said before, this series is not going to last forever, so I need you guys to... Well, I say you guys like there's many more than one of you. To tell me which game you want to see next. I'll probably show on the last part of Spore some suggestions or something. And yeah, this is my creature. The Glingo. Or Glino. I'm not good at pronouncing things. Let's give him a top hat. And that's glitching right through him. Is that any better? No, that's like part of his head. Part of his head now. Alright, nothing's going on his chest. Or, that's like part of his chin. Oh wow. It's not very good. I'm debating whether to cut this out or not. I think I'm going to leave it in because I don't think I'm going to be much longer. The joint there is like way on back there. This is pretty much like a different design than what I usually do. Because I usually have a two-legged creature that's kind of humanoid. But this time I'm doing something different. I have no idea why. Just something to do, I guess. I kind of look steampunky. Hmm. I don't know if that is. Um, something on the back. Right. I kind of decided not to bore you with the details, but I'm not going to be done yet, so I guess you're still going to be for a while. But yeah, this is going to be the Galeno Citizen. And he's happy about it. Come on. You gotta look happy. Uh, oh well, I'll go with it. This doesn't look the best, but. It will be hard to accomplish otherwise. Let's see, look, they're going straight for the Spice Geysers. Military village. I, I call them villages, but they're cities. Spice Geysers have been free. Okay, I think a military city would be an asset to me for the sole reason that it has access to the sea. Um, or I could just capture this city as a religious nation. I already got, it. you know. Good, what's it called? Good relationships with them. Um, here's 4,000 spore rocks. 
<laughs> Just fork over all my money. Boom it. Please. Ah! Man, why are all these milit- Oh, Oopy. Great. I'm gonna have to block out my name. Oh well. Why are no economic villages being formed? I need economic villages. Well, then, then I also need to design a city properly. Please be economic. Alright, it takes one, two, Nine the nine places. Four more shall be formed. I've got the biggest tracts of land. I'm gonna have to capture the city. Gonna have to do it. I'm gonna take all my religious vehicles. Go over here. Although I could go over to the moon. Nah. I'll just go over here. Sorry, but it has to be done. Three more freaking things, and I still don't have an economic. Need economic villages. Why do I keep on saying villages? I need at least. Yes. Are you a village? Mm. It's time to conquer a military village. Through the usual way. Okay, all I need to do is get on that. To get to that village before it starts feeding with any other village. Okay. Come on, baby. Convert. Ooh, that's even closer to nearby. And gives me more tracks of land. Perfect. Why aren't you going to convert? Mm, convert city. There we go. So that's what happens when you convert a religion. Convert, well, convert a religious city. <clears throat> you are now at war with Red Nation. Well, damn. 